Now let's discuss a topic that can be a source of confusion for many people starting out with Python programming and this is the distinction between the print function and the return statement. Now the point we want to drive home in this video is that the print function doesn't return anything and conversely the return statement doesn't print anything. Okay, what do we mean by this? Let's write a couple of functions that help illustrate this distinction. So let's define a function f underscore r takes a single argument x and that underscore r, think of r as meaning return, and will return x plus 3. And that's the entire function. Now let's write another function, call this one f underscore p also takes a single argument x, but in this case, instead of returning something, that underscore p, that's for print. We'll call the print function with an argument of x plus 3. And that's the entire function. Now let's put these functions to use. Let's call the function f underscore r with an argument of 7. And when we hit return, we see 10. How about if we call f underscore p and provide it with the same argument, 7, we see 10. It looks like these functions are behaving identically. They do the exact same thing, but they're not. The f underscore r, that first function call, returned a value, and it was the interactive environment that said, hey, here's an expression. You aren't doing anything with it. I will echo the value back to the screen. I'll show you the 10. Whereas that second one, we were explicitly calling the print function, and then we weren't returning anything, but the print function generated that output of 10. So the claim is that these two are different. They're behaving differently, but the way they were just used, it appears as if they're identical, and hence the source of confusion. But let's use these functions in a different way that makes their difference a little bit more evident. Let's assign to the variable x underscore r whatever the function f underscore r returns when it's called with an argument of 7. So we didn't see any output there. Now let's assign to the variable x underscore p whatever is returned when we call the function f underscore p with an argument of 7. Now this time we do see some output. We see the value 10 and that's because the print function within the body of the f underscore p function prints that. But now let's check what the values are for these two identifiers x underscore r and x underscore p. And we see that x underscore r, the one associated with the function that has a return statement in it, is 10, whereas x underscore p, where we were using the function that just had a print statement in it, is none. It wasn't assigned a meaningful value because that was a void function. It didn't return anything. And we can illustrate this a little bit further. Let's call the function f underscore r. Again, give it an argument of 7. But now let's use it in an arithmetic expression and say multiply that by 3. So the function returned a value of 10. We multiplied that by 3. And now echoed to us by the interactive environment is the result of that expression, 30. How about if we call the function f underscore p with an argument of 7 and multiply this by 3. Now hitting return, we still see an output of 10, but then we get this error message. And that 10 is, again, the print function within the body of f underscore p printing that value. And then that function returned none, and we can't multiply none by 3 and hence this error message. Keep in mind that return doesn't print anything and the print function doesn't return anything. If you keep that straight, you should be all set.